Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to yourself and to Senator Blackburn at the subcommittee level for holding this important hearing. I think we're demonstrating that just as AI needs to be open and transparent, we're going to have an open and transparent process as we consider legislation in this area. And I want to thank uh, Senator Blackburn for her comments about privacy, because I do think these things go hand in hand. Having good, strong privacy protections certainly prevent the kind of abuse or misuse of information that could cause substantial harm to individuals. And I thank the witnesses for being here today to help us in this discussion. Uh, I recently was informed about a situation in my state that I found quite alarming. A family in Pierce County, Washington received a phone call. A scammer used AI to spoof the voice of their daughter, telling them that she had been in a car accident and that a man was threatening to harm her if, she did, if they didn't wire $10,000. So I can't imagine what this deep fake meant to that family or the concerns that they have. And a recent deep fake image claimed a bombing occurred at the Pentagon, and that fake image sparked a dip in the stock market. DARPA is leading the way on important developments to approach detecting AI-generated media, and I plan to introduce legislation in this area. I think that AI, as was discussed by my two colleagues, has amazing potential. I held an AI summit in my state and saw some of those amazing technology already being pushed by the Allen Brain Institute and some of their early technologies, certainly helping in things like climate, in farming, in detecting uh, illegal activities, and helping us move forward in important areas of research. So we know that we have choices here. We know we want to continue to empower consumers and make sure that we're stopping the fraudsters. And we want to make sure that the, any misuse of AI, that we are stopping that, whatever we can do to make sure that we're protecting Americans' privacies. So I hope that today's hearing will give us some ideas about how to drive innovation and maintain U.S. leadership in this very important security-related technology and the issues of global competitiveness, that we talk and discover ideas, that the deep fakes and potential national security issues, the, the framework for legislation, protect online privacy, and combat discrimination. I know that we need to grow education in general in our workforce, and information age has already put great transformations in place. The jobs of tomorrow are here today, but the skill levels for people to do them are not. We know that we need to invest more from the Chips and Science Act in skilling a workforce for tomorrow. That was before AI. With AI, AI, there is an accelerant on that. And that is why I believe we need something as grand as the GI Bill was after World War II in empowering Americans for new opportunities in this area. So I look forward to hearing the comments from our witnesses, and thank you again, Mr. Chairman, for holding this very important hearing about the uh, potential and challenges facing us. But clearly, we need an open and transparent system, just as we did with the Internet, so that innovation can flourish. Thank you.